late comeback that falls short. Just what did you see from your guys today? And what was, you know, eight to two into the ninth inning loss? Well, we lost eight to seven. And so the bottom line is we lost at the end of the game. You know, they show fight and come back. And I expect that out of this team. You know, they're, they're really good. They're talented. And, you know, that's what's disappointing. In fact, we had some at-bats earlier in the game. We didn't even need a base hit or anything like that to score guys. And had we come through on one of those, the game's tied. And a couple of those, then we, we would have won the game there in the last inning. So I mean, it's a little bit disappointing that we weren't able to come through on some of those at-bats earlier in the game um, that just would have required ball and play type thing mm-hmm. um, or sack fly. And, you know, that was the difference in the game. We all, Overall, though, we didn't pitch well enough to win a baseball game. And, and that, was, uh, that was really the story today. You said see, early on in the season that, you know, the freshman pitchers were going to have their ups and downs. Do you view today kind of as part of that learning experience for them? Yeah, they got beat up today, you know, didn't they? I mean, they got beat up today. They got behind in counts, um, and they didn't pitch very well. And, you know, we, we tried to chase down the runs at the end and just came a little short. You guys have six home runs allowed in this two-game series so far. Just where do you think you can, you know, make that a difference maker going into tomorrow's game? I don't understand the question. Well, like, where do you think you guys can improve upon on, as a staff to, you know, try to eliminate some of those home runs? Well, I mean, usually it's count leverage, you know, and, and uh, making quality pitches when you have count leverage. And so that would be the biggest focal point. What do you see from Treadwell today that, you know, shut, shut down your bats for the first, you know, couple of innings and hit list and then the first five scoreless? I mean, I, don't, I didn't think Treadwell was all that sharp today. You know, he's walking guys. That's really uncharacteristic of him. I thought we worked some good at bats and set the table, and then we, we kind of let him off the hook, kind of almost like we did with – with Brooks yesterday, we had a chance to chase him early, and, and we didn't. We let it get away from us in some of our at bats. So, a little bit disappointing. I didn't think that the, either one of the starters were sharp, and yet Treadwell, a you know, savvy guy, he knows how to get through it, even when he doesn't have his best stuff. Ceballos four hits today, a home run. What'd you see from him at the plate? Well, really good. You know, I mean, Sabine's a really, really good player, and that's what I saw, just like everybody else. What are you taking in tomorrow to, you know, hopefully take the series? Well, I mean, you see how close the game is, games are, you know, with these guys. It's two really good teams uh, squaring off, you know, and so we've got to be at our, our best when we play our best. And, you know, we can beat anybody. And when you, when you pitch the way we pitch today, then you probably deserve to, deserve to lose. And you're, you're trying to chase down runs, which is really hard with, with the good pitching staff that UCLA has. And what went into the decision to pinch hit Hellman for the Dottie? Well, uh, Owen had struggled, and and uh, Dominic, you know, hits the ball over the light towers. He's he, he's going to need to get a chance. He's finally healthy to where he can get back in uh, the lineup. I thought he had a good at bat, hit a ball hard. Uh, just happened to be out of player. Um, you know, I thought he had a really good at bat. And what you're thinking there is, you know, with a really good pitching staff that you're facing, you know, to to think you're going to string four, five, six singles together is probably not going to happen. And and we like to. Uh, Dominic's matchup against that guy right there, and I'm um, happy we did it. I know Gravin had a bit of control issues, like you mentioned earlier, but just overall, what did you see from him? Only one run allowed in his two and two thirds, I think. Yeah, and then he got sharp, and then he lost it. You know, I mean, it was really weird. He, I think it was uh, Holman that he just absolutely uh, really found a good groove, and then after that, I think he walked two guys in a row mm-hmm. and, and looked like he totally lost it. And I'll have to look at the tape and figure that out and talk to him, but. Um, he had spurts of being really, really good. I thought he showed up at the beginning and was a little loose, and then he really buckled down. He got a couple of ground ball outs, and it looked dominant, and, and then uh, got away from him uh, right around the 50 pitch mark. And I don't know if that's an indicator or, or what the indicator was. We'll have to figure that out. You mentioned Jaha was a two-way guy. He already pitched an inning. Today he gets his first hit. Uh, nice to see that for him. Yeah, he's probably primary, primarily a hitter. That's what he was drafted for. I mean, the guy can really hit. He's, he can really play, too. And so... Um, you know, how to get guys in the lineup when they're really good. You know, that's our job, trying to give guys opportunities. And he gave us a spark today. You know, first college hit, that's a big deal. Bennett Thompson gets on base twice, gets mm-hmm. the you know, first run on the board with the double. Just what's it like having him in the lineup? And then, you know, also throws out a base runner. Yeah, he sure did. And it was a good, you know, I mean, he, he, he hosed the guy at second on the, on the stolen base attempt. I mean, he's, he's caught very, very well, mm-hmm. you know, and then he's giving you um, everything he's got with his at-bats and he's having good at-bats. Um, Shoot, he's a, he's a tough kid and we love him. I mean, he's, I think a week or two ago, somebody asked, you know, is it nice to have him as your backup? And I think I commented, I'm not sure if he was, he's really playing like a backup. He's playing like a frontline guy and he may be the frontline guy moving forward. So if he, if he uh, keeps doing what he's doing, you know, I mean, that's, he's playing like a frontline guy. With Jackson Pace scheduled to go tomorrow, just what are you looking 
to see from him going into the game? Well, we want to see him get ahead in the count. You know, we want to see him get ahead in the count with his pitches. And, and when when we did, and when we have done that, especially yesterday, I mean, we uh, we pitch very, very well. But when we start chasing counts and, and doing that kind of stuff, it's it's tough against any lineup.